Hello, my name is Vazaskia Caldwell. I'm the Health Disparities Program Manager for Washington State Department of Social and Health Services. I'm pretty fortunate to be doing the work of health disparities because it's a passion that I have. Health disparities addresses issues of unfair burden of a disease for minority populations. An example of that would be the fact that African Americans and Latinos are twice as likely to develop cancer and diabetes than the white population. I'd like to share a personal story with you uh, today. In August of 2008, my younger brother was diagnosed with cancer and diabetes at the same time. Unfortunately, he didn't have insurance. He had no knowledge of what diabetes or cancer was. He didn't know what he needed to do to prevent it. All he knew is that he was diagnosed and that he needed to start taking insulin daily and that he was going to have to have surgery within two weeks. One of the things that was really important to my brother at the time was that he not have to walk through this experience alone. So my mother not only picked him up and took him to every appointment that he needed to go to, but she would have a notepad with questions that she had, questions that he had, and even during the appointments when the surgeon or you know one of the providers um, would say something that she didn't understand, she would make them explain it. But she didn't stop there. Uh, she went online and she really accessed all of her resources. She accessed me and she said, Vizaskia, where do I go? How do I find this information, you know, about cancer, about diabetes? And I had a wealth of resources. And the first place I actually sent them to was um, the Puget Sound Health Alliance Community Checkup Site. And that's a resource that, one, will tell you, um, it's really, they have a grading system to grade your provider so that you know um, who's doing what. Are they, tell, am I going to get all of the screenings that I need? Am I going to get the treatment that I need? But also there, there was information about diabetes in plain language, language that you can understand. Um, there was information about cancer and a wealth of information about other topics, but they also had advocacy information there to say, you know, if you are diagnosed, these are questions you need to, to ask. These are um, things that you need to do to advocate for your own health. Um, there were a lot of lessons learned in this process, but I think what was most important to our family was that each one of us had to take responsibility and accountability for our own health. We had to be our own personal advocates. And then we had to model it for our children in our community. There are resources out there, you know, and from the Puget Sound Health Alliance, DSHS, the Department of Health, your own provider. Request more information. Request more time to ask the questions that you need to ask. Um, I implore you to take your life into your own hands. Be proactive with your health. Seek out the resources. Become health literate. You know, those are things you can do to protect your life and to save others.